Buck right there. Look how wide he is. No wonder I was just thinking, whenever you look for deer, you find sheds. Whenever you look for sheds, you find deer. So that and right away I found a shed. and off the boat I spotted the shed. It's the second one I've done out here now. Looks like a decent three. <laughs> Had a little weird kicker on him.
so far. I've uh, taken a shot at a 3x3 three three from, it was fairly far away, I missed him. Then I seen two nice bucks run away, mule deers. And I bumped up a nice, real big white tail buck. And then I seen a bull moose, so. And then here's a shed. Bad little white tail. Out for a morning hunt, and Jordy face crushed me on the shed, showing you his butt. Decent mule deer. Oh, never mind. Oh, good job. It's not, it's not as big as I thought, but it's still decent. I don't know how we've never found that.
well, I, uh, I didn't get it done. So, uh, when I first spotted him, I was probably 500 yards away, and I had came from, which is directly in front of me right now, and, uh, I didn't really pinpoint where I seen him, so when I went all the way around from the backside, came around the corner, I stopped there and I was debating on which spot he actually was. I had two spots I figured he would be, and I decided to go the opposite way. Hold on a second. So anyways, yeah, that was just a doe. And there's a couple does over there still, but it's gonna get dark anyways. Anyway, so there was two spots I came up on and I debated where he was. And uh, the side that I ultimately didn't shoot was, was uh, the side that he was at. But uh, even if I went that way, which I should have, honestly, I should have. Even if I went that way and he was at the side that I ended up going to, I still would have been okay because it was behind him. So I would have still been able to uh, stalk up to the original spot I ended up going to. But since I made the wrong decision, I ended up bumping out his does. And I looked behind me and I seen him there. And he didn't actually see me there. So I waited for him to go over top of the hill. And then I followed him for a bit. And I got to about 100 yards of him. And I mean, he was real suspicious of me, but he didn't know where I was. And then he kept going over the hill. And every time I'd come over, I'd get closer. And then finally, I... Uh, didn't pay attention to him on the last time and he went over the hill but he went to the left a bit and so when I went over the hill it turns out he was right there well not like right there but like probably 150 yards away looking at me and I I basically screwed it up but the whole thing that really screwed it up is the decision where I decided to go left instead of right and so I know Actually, even while I was walking over there, I was debating. I should have put a pinpoint on my Google Maps or something when I first seen him originally. So, it's unfortunate. I got a lot of footage of him. But, uh, yeah, we didn't do it. He wasn't a big buck, but as a 3x3, three three, he was decent. And he had a little back point kicker kind of ordeal going on. Some brow turns. Decent mass on him. Not super wide or anything. Not a super tall buck, but he was a decent deer. So, I don't know, I got about a month left to hunt. Just a little over, I guess. Yeah, and hopefully I can do her. But yeah. Once again, found another shed in this spot that uh, me and Hayden seem to keep finding antlers in. And we have been here, I don't know how many times. That's got to be from this year. That's a decent antler. Not bad. Alright guys, I think today is the day. It's October 1st. And uh, coming out on a really, uh, really rainy kind of day. It's all misty and whatever. It's a little windy. It's pretty chilly actually today too. But, uh, I don't know, I just I had a hunch about today. My truck is absolutely caked in mud raining for the past couple of days and it's going to continue but I don't know I just I had a good a good feeling about today so wish me luck guys hopefully I can get it done There's another one there. Dude, there's a shed right here. No way, that's so cool. It's a white tail. Decent.
just took a shot at about 60 yards and I, I'm not sure if it was the impact I heard, but I, I heard a thud and I heard the deer go. So it sounded like I hit him. I don't know. I didn't see the arrow in him or anything. I was actually coming to go stalk a group of two bucks. I had two bucks in front of me, which they're still 400 yards away. So if I didn't hit him, I could go get him. I might have just shot a deer. I don't know if I'm looking for the arrow, but we'll see. Like 25 yards, you can't really miss that. Plus, it was aiming down at him. Like I literally, I couldn't believe it. I watched my arrow go literally like this over top of it. I don't know if it ricocheted off a branch or what just happened, but that was bullshit, honestly. Now I gotta go look for that. But... Yep. Yeah, I think what happened is that fletching just got absolutely destroyed when I shot it, and that just threw it off course. I'm sure the sun's up with the bow or what, but.
still looking for my coyote I shot. I couldn't find him. I also couldn't find the arrow. I ended up going back over there to look for it. But, you know, maybe the arrow's still in him. I'm not sure. Here's a dead head. Pretty big. Well, decent, decent buck. I guess it's not that big, but not horrible. Nice one.